Dear colleagues, this is a very hard cataract. Let us observe the surgical steps. This is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter keratome. We can see oozing of blood from the main incision. Now, one side port has been made on the right side. Now, an air bubble has been injected into the anterior chamber. And this is tripan blue 0.06% dye. And now the dye is washed out with BSS, balanced salt solution. And now in this case I have employed modified soft shell technique which means first I have injected viscoat from Alcon. This is viscoat which is a combination of chondroitin sulfate and sodium hyaluronate. Beneath this viscoat I am injecting HPMC instead of sodium hyaluronate. So this is modified soft shell technique. And now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision. So we have one main incision and two side ports. And now capsulorexis is to be done. A 26 gauge bent needle is introduced. The anti-capsule is incised and capsular tag is raised. Now I use a utrita forceps. Hold this tag, go anti-clockwise and I'm doing a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. My aim is to do a large rexis and I find that the rexis is adequate but not very large. Size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter. My expectation was to make a rexis of 6 millimeter. Now I do hydrodissection and rotate the nucleus. And now after injecting viscoelastic substance, I have started to make a crater. in very hard cataracts where the nuclear sclerosis is grade 5 plus or grade 6. This is the preferred technique. You make a crater thus you debulk the central hard core of the nucleus. So the nucleus is weakened and then it can be divided into fragments easily. And now I have made bevel down and going to deeper level and now I go forward towards the opposite equator and here I chop the nucleus and try to separate the nucleus into two heminuclei. Rotate it 180 degree, I can see the crack and along that crack I could separate the nucleus nicely into two heminuclei. And now each heminucleus, since this is a very 
large nucleus. I wanted to divide each heminucleus into three pieces. Now here it is. One piece has been divided completely. Now this bigger piece is held at its middle and I use the chopper to divide this. But I found that it is not completely divided. So what I do is I come out, I want to inject some more viscoat and beneath this viscoat I want to inject SPMC and now I have taken Sinsky hook and I could divide the parts into I could completely separate parts with the help of Sinsky hook and chopper. Now I emulsify each nuclear fragment. When I was doing sculpting, I was in FECO 1 mode. When I was doing the crater, I was in FECO 1 mode. And the ultrasonic power at that time was 85%, flow rate was 25 and vacuum was 70 millimeter of mercury. And now I'm in FECO2 mode here. The power is same 85%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. And vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now I have come to the other heminucleus. And I'm dividing it into two pieces. And I find that uh, the pieces are still not completely separate. Here I come again and inject some more viscoelastic substance. Take the Sinsky hook and the chopper again. Sinsky hook is in my right hand and chopper is in my left hand. I go behind the piece and here with the help of these two hooks I could separate the heminucleus into two pieces. Now, after injecting some viscoelastic substance, I go into the anterior chamber and start emulsifying one of these two large fragments. The machine being used is Oatly Catrix 3. The beauty of this machine is even in this hard cataract, see the main wound. There is no wound burn. There is enough fluid on either side of the titanium needle and It is cool and there is no wound burn. And with such high power, about 80% ultrasonic energy, there is no wound burn. This is fantastic. Now this is the last portion of the nucleus. You can see there is no epinucleus. Everything is a huge nucleus. Now here I come out and I want to use a visco cushion. Since there is no epinucleus, this is viscoat. And I am pushing the posterior capsule towards the vitreous cavity. And this is SPMC. And now I'm going to use the FECO tip again. And here I am. Hold the nucleus. I be in SPMC and emulsify it. And this is another piece, another small piece of nucleus. And it here it gets emulsified, 
and removed. Now, after removing the cortex, cortical matter, I have injected viscous substance, and here goes the intraocular lens. This is supraphobe from Upper Sami Associates. It's a very good lens, hydrophobic lens. I'm using this lens for the last three years. The PCO rate is negligible. So supraphobe from Upper Sami Associates. No financial interest. The company will not pay me anything for saying good words about this lens. Though I am very much grateful to Upper Sami Associates for all the help they have done in the past. But this lens is really good and I am very happy with this lens. Now I clean the cortex, clean the viscoelastic substance, hydrate these side ports so that these paracentesis openings close and now after a final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is formed nicely with simco cannula and the case is concluded after checking the wounds there should not be any leakage from any side and this is first post of day follow off after about 18 hours see there's no corneal edema thank you very much for watching Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.